it's the new one here. Welcome back to Warcraft of War. This is version 2.3, I believe. It's the version released in um, the summer. I updated it in the summer. So the trades unfortunately became defunct. They do no longer work. In the next release, the trades will work again, but it wasn't possible to fix it. With the current release, I would need to redo everything I did during two days. Alright. So, uh, in order to fix it, we need to either redo everything on the old build from May 2021 or use Trug's build where he has like everything seen in this version plus his own changes and where the traits work. Okay, because the traits were made by him, the, the new traits, and I tried to port them over. I had a VIP of the game, a work in progress, and then uh, he had his own like uh, sub mod. And uh, I tried to move over his stuff to, to my VIP, but it failed, so... In the end, I ended up with uh, no working traits, because th they caused a crash. And uh, because something went wrong when I moved them over, so I had a crash at turn 13 or so. And the only way to solve it was to disable all the traits. So, uh, in the next version we will have traits working again, but... Until then, they won't work. We are back in the Trade Coalition campaign. I'm playing as the Goblins. So, the Trade Coalition. Undermine is the capital. On this ire. I have played two, two episodes in this campaign on my YouTube channel. One in 2021, during the spring. And one during last year, when I attempted to start it again after the sum, uh, during the summer. But Unfortunately, the, there were issues because uh, of that trade issue. The game wasn't stable, it crashed on turn 13. I replayed everything up until turn 13, so we are at the same spot where we were previously. Capital City is undermined, faction leader is Trade Prince Jaster, its general is also Trade Prince Jaster. General se uh, are 7, I believe. Regions control 10, cities 8, castles 2. Battles won, 6. Battles lost, 0. Years 21. After the Dark Portal. Um, we are playing the Reign of Chaos campaign, the early campaign. Turn number is 13. Domini domination, hold 50 regions. Eliminate factions, the Faraki, Trolls, the Gurbashi, Trolls, and the Ankirai insects. So we need to hold 50 regions, and we hold 10 currently. So we need to take 40 regions, then we need to defeat the jungle trolls, the Gerbashi, over here, the whole area over here, they are almost about to attack us, we are neutral to them currently, we have an army here, including Gerbashi headhunters, troll raptor archers, the Faraki picture there, they are blue for the Gerbashi, <coughs> Gerbashi Blood Slayers, the Berserkers, uh, Troll Axe Throwers, Gerbashi Tribal Warriors, and Troll Spears. We have an entire arm inside, but it's pretty basic. We have units like the Goblin Bruisers, Tinkers, the Elite Infantry, Goblin Tail Gunners, Basic Gunners, Goblin Infantry, Goblin Rabble, Militia, and uh, Medium Infantry, and we have these are probably heavy infantry, but they are kind of bad infantry. They are goblin infantry. So they suck in comparison to heavy infantry of the humans or, or the orcs, etc. Or we have a goblin bombard. We have the goblin death stealers. Like rogues. We will probably be attacked over there. The Scotch is the overall strongest faction in the game. Has the best military. Strongest military, the best financial situation, the largest population, best production. No, the Alliance of Lordaeron has the best, uh, largest population, but the Scourge uh, dominates everything else. They are the undead, of course, in the Warcraft universe. We have taken Lost Rigger Co. from the bandits. The, that's the last thing we did. We have also taken Trimmering Flats from uh, Kiraji rebels, and we have taken. Uh, Tell Abim from the jungle trolls there, they were rebels. Your orders, one. Now we want to 
take more areas. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. We have the frack trolls here, they are an enemy that we need to defeat. We have dragons up here, we want to take this area, it's a very good area. We might not have the best army to fight them. Yet we will attack them when we are strong enough. <coughs> so uh, could also attack the tower and over here. But our early army is not very good against heavy infantry like that. Giant infantry. We have hired a bunch of mercenaries, pirate musketeers. Not the human marks, I guess. Goblin marks, I think, are the ones we can recruit here. Okay. Don't know what we were supposed to do. The, the trolls have a presence here. Check recruitment. Don't want to convert Shimmering Flats to a village. Guide gets an. Uh, can go for a traveler's lodge or convert a wooden castle. I think we'll go for a travel traveler's lodge. Increase public order. Have a look. We can go, go for a similar building. Actually, I changed my mind. Because our economy wasn't the best. It spent some troops and avoid recruiting stuff until we have spent some of our armies. We have a lot of armies in each area. Okay, so an arm here. And another army over here. So we are allied to the Stormwind faction. They are in Kalimdor, this area of the map. Terramor, they are an ally. Modern the dwarves, they are an ally. They are over here and they are in Northrend. <coughs> the darker dwarves are an ally. They are over here. Accord over here. Night Elf, they are an ally too. They are over in our areas. They order this area actually. They might betray us and attack. Then we have the Horde as an ally. They are over there. This might be the Frozen Throne Command. Let's check what factions are in the game. No, this is the Reign of Chaos campaign. We have no Naga and no Scarlet Crusade. Okay, but the Horde is still taking these areas. We are on turn 13, so they have taken some areas. <coughs> so the Goblins. Could probably attack them. Go back. Go to the city. We'll move back to the city. Here we have another army. We don't really want the rabble. We'll instead add the two sappers. They are better troops. We had none of them in the army. Okay, and then both of these are effective against armor. These are very uh, worse attack than the dwarves. They have better attack, 
better defense. Go to one hit points. <coughs> but the goblin tail gunners have better abilities at a glance. Okay. Tinkers could use the tinkers there. Move them back. These troops can move up to the city. Defend. The lost Rigger Co. Alright, and then I think I can check if we have any agents. Noble diplomat. <coughs> move the diplomat. We have a bunch of merchants placed out. Alright, let's see if we can move anything. <coughs> I believe I came all the way from Northrend the fleet. So we have both of the armies here. One of these are from Northrend, I believe. We have spent some troops too. I believe we moved one army from Northrend, from Venture Bay. I still think we are holding the area, but we have left the area. We have a rebel human area here. Bandits. We left it because we won't be able to hold it against the Greek and the Dracari. <coughs> for long. Then we also moved an army from Undermine. We fought the battle of Tel Abim, the battle of Rostriger Ro Ro Co, and the battle of Shimmering Flat. Three battles. We still have two armies, so one army has been pretty much um, like reduced to nothing. We also bought a higher bunch of mercenaries. Okay. Let's end the turn. Try to use the immersion mode or the third person mode as much as, much as possible. Uh, of course, the new uh, uh, generals do not have any traits because of the issue with traits, so they suck. And maybe we don't need a new general, I think. Immersion's assets ceased. Okay. <coughs> End of turn report, same as before. Relations improve, we have good relations with Terramor. Here we have a Ferraki army under Antusul. Right. Some of the starting generals still have traits. <coughs> Your orders, noble one. I think the army they want to move over there. General here. Your orders, I think we could uh, move this army there. Your orders, number one. Yes. Might we have there? We okay, have quite a force there too. Your orders, number one. This army. Your orders, I think we'll move it back up. Yes. Make camp, men. Orders. Uh, bombards into shimmering flats. Your orders, number one. Mark nice, they could join the battle. So join, we don't need a lot of troops. Yes. They're not very good anyway. Type of wall that we have here, Palisade. We can move the range 
these units too. We have no use for them. Side of the settlement. There, back us up. Yes. Fit the troops. General, command of the army, might die if the AI is stupid. We we'll send the, the militia. It will be a backup force. They have some range units, and they have half of the army is range units, and the other half is infantry. They're really bad infantry. Even though the Goblin Death Stealers are pretty good. Not the militia. And, uh, Hill gunners are all right, same with the pirate musketeers. Goblin infantry is pretty good, they can do shield or what, you know. Okay. They attack the trolls, fuck, you can't move anymore. They will move up this force. Anyone that can move will. Move, of course. Alright, we lost five units there. Again, just and his 1964 trolls. So he has potential zombies. They never break. They have unlimited morale, but they are really bad and really slow. They have mounted Sanfir warriors. They are pretty good. And uh, light cavalry. And we have Sanfir archers. Pick against armor. Their arrows can pierce armor. Mounted Sanctuary Nomad Hunters. You can do Shooting Circle. And the pick against armor. They are shown to Tiki Warriors. They fight to the death. They have unlimited morale. They are really good. Unlike the zombies, they are not slow and they are actually good. Turn attack. Run hit points. Turn defense. Okay. Uh, mounted Sanctuary Nomad, Nomad Spearmen. They are medium cavalry. Elite Cavalry, Sanctuary of Warriors, Spearmen, more Zombies, Bowmen. Bowmen are not as good as the Archers, because they cannot pierce armor. And we have the Axe Throwers and the Nomad Hunters. Okay, fight this battle. Our strength ratio 4 1 in our favor. Unlike in Herald of War, battles do not crash after, uh, after winning them in this mod. We should be fine. I never had a crash previously at least when I played this game. Of course, uh, sometimes it can crash in a battle if you're unlucky, but it should be rare. 
never crashes after battles or on the map. Too. At least not prior to this version. Uh, okay. You uh, will manually control the army. Partial man uh, manual control. Okay. Uh, fight the battle on the battle map. We would like start deployment. Our general's bodyguard is this hobgoblin bodyguard. This is the general, thinker's general. Okay, let's save that. The thinkers in the army, heavy infantry, not that numerous, they are pretty good. Yeah, 17 attack, 10 defense, eagle inspires nearby troops, excellent morale, a very good stamina. Okay. These can do a shield wall, goblin infantry. Good against the uh, range attacks of the trolls. Of course, they can be in shield wall. And we have the rogues. So these guys, they have medium stats. Otherwise, the rogues, they are pretty good. 13 defense, 16 attack for it. Charge bonus. One hit point. And very good abilities at a glance. We have the sappers, they are like grenadiers, they throw bombs. We lose formation, two units of them. We have the bombard, they will have fire fl flaming arrow or uh, ammo on. And we have the tail gunners. Lose formation. Okay. And we have the Brusseers, they have no special formations. Okay. Group the army. The general. general I can be behind everyone. We will pause the game here and enable the immersion. Right, I'm back. Yeah, we can control the general. Perfect. We'll still let this army attack, of course. Um, so start the battle, pause the game. Reinforcements, Captain Driss. Trade Coalition or the Goblins. Here we have the enemy. We'll just charge the army. The enemy army. We have these Raptors, Troll Warriors, Medium Light Cavalry. We have a bunch of ranged units and ordinary medium troops. The ranged units are actually pretty good because most of them have armor piercing abilities and this unit is an actual good infantry unit so it never breaks yes, it's uh, an enchanted being it's not uh, uh, an actual alive creature I believe they are magical like uh, enchanted items or something okay then we have more cavalry all the cool raptors they have two different types of raptors they have these yellow ones with red stripes then they have the ones with black stripes that I think look better and uh, the difference is that the, the ones with black stripes are used by their melee cavalry and the ones with red stripes are used by their ranged cavalry so you can differentiate the ranged cavalry from the melee cavalry by looking at the stripes alright and their yellow co color is also a little bit different a little bit brighter for the the, the range you can directly. Okay. Our allied army is coming from this corner here. 
I would have wanted Aaron to be spent, but they are too far away. We will spend our forces, even though our troops are slightly better than the Allied troops. It has a lot of militia and such. And mercenaries. They're more costly like the dwarves. Or the pirate musketeers. This is the Tinker General. Pretty cool. Right. You two are missing the enemy as one. Didn't have an entire army either. It's fine. Yeah, this this model is really cool. It's a bit glitched in in actual combat. Uh, the throat, I believe, stretches in an unnatural way. Sound the horn with the general. Here we have some militia, I believe. Allied army. They look a little bit weird with their arms. Otherwise, they look good. I believe it's the skeleton. She looks good, I think. Much better than the old model that we used to have. Ah, it's a bombard crew. Then we have the Brusiers, light infantry, so they are light infantry, but they have medium stats. They are pretty good shock troops. Much better than the militia rebels. All the goblin infantry is numerous. Oh, the enemies are there. They might charge us. Let's zoom in on the main map. will enable running the general so we need to move out of this we want our ally to use shooting if they can we also want our army to Charge there, oh man. Cannot just stand there. Right, goblins! Prepare for battle! Against the desert trolls. The Faraghe. The Faraghe only started with one area, but they had two huge armies. I believe, at the start. Oh, that there are their really good uh, Tiki Warrior infantry. They'll never break. They'll fight to death. Yeah, the throat stretches sometimes with this Tinker unit. Otherwise, it looks. The battle is in our oh, I forgot the. I don't Victory want the sappers to waste themselves in melee. Move out of there. Absolutely not. They should fire. You need to move out of there. These guys are grenadiers. They should be allowed to fire at will. Shouldn't be in melee. Lost, I believe, four of them already. Right, our death dealers are here. They look cool. They are both females and males. One of the few female units, the goblins. They have two. I believe a mage unit is also consisting of females. Good. Our 
sappers are throwing their bombs at the enemy. Didn't want them to fight in melee and die. They are only good from afar. They are numerous to throw um, like dynamite at the enemy. Sappers, dynamite missiles. They are pretty effective. They are way more numerous than the grenadiers and Haruno. This is a similar unit. I believe they are one of the better units. The goblins. Only available at the capital currently. The capital is, uh, I believe, a citadel. So you can get everything from there. No, it isn't. It is a large city, I believe. Or a. I believe it's the. Almost. The, I believe it's the second last settlement you can get. So you can't get the best units from there at the beginning of the game. You need to upgrade it once. But it has really good units at the start. Just not the best ones. You also need to build... Uh, I might be wrong, it might be a citadel. But then you still need to build certain buildings to get the best units. So you still don't have them at the start. I don't know where our ally is. Over there. Oh, they have cavalry over there. We don't really want to get close to the cavalry. However, I see I did a mistake again. The, the range units should of course not be... Should of course not be in melee. I really did a mistake placing them in under AI control. This time on, I believe that range units will no longer be placed under AI. I will always manually control range units and make sure they fire. At least the, the sappers did fire their dynamites. I really don't want gunners to waste themselves like that. They're supposed to fire. They're not supposed to fight in melee. And get killed. Praise to our Lord. Good. They've started our to fire their guns. The now his men will lose the men will fall and the soul of the Farak trolls have died. Good. Fire! Tail gunners. They are really effective. They fire their guns. But of course I don't want them to waste themselves in melee. Strength of the goblins is their ranged units. And highly advanced units. And their numbers. A better to use them like this. Enemy are badly blooded. They have lost All right. Good. Fifty-six percent, seven percent of the enemy is dead. We have lost twenty-one percent. Our troops. Battle had slight lag, but that's because of the models. I believe the goblins. They had two armies, and then the. And the for trolls too, I believe all of them are pretty demanding. I think the Sulfur trolls were the first units that Bantu did. Bantu Shift and his username, the modeler's username. He, he who modeled uh, most of the, or rigged most of the models. And uh, I believe the Frack trolls and the Dark Iron Dwarves were the first ones that he did, and the Naga. And uh, yeah, the, the Frack trolls are pretty demanding too. They were dead raptors. Okay, what is the situation? Citrel Q. We have our army. 
You don't have allied troops. Yeah, they have have, have some death dealers too. And they are oh yeah. so the blue ones on the map are allies. The green ones is are our troops that we direct to control. And uh, the red ones uh, are the enemy. I wanted these guys to be spent, but yeah, we ended up spending most of our army. Flashlights on, so we see who is an enemy or not. Of course, I don't want the troops to just stand still and do nothing. The range troops should just stand where they are and fire at anyone that gets close. There I can see enemies and allies. So I'm gonna horn and move over there. I only see green colors. I want to find out where the blue colors are. Okay, we've killed 75%, lost 24%. Champions, their bodyguard. Let's move over there. It's the general's bodyguard, I believe, unless it's one of the units. No, it's the bodyguard, Fraki Champions bodyguard. They also have a unit that is named just Fraki Champions. They are still um, eager. Oh, they were shot, shut down. I mean, shot down. <laughs> Most of them tours survived, they will die soon. They're pretty big, those guys, compared to the goblins. They were fired at. Yeah, we are really effective from afar. I believe the numbers make it a little bit demanding to have a bruisers. Yeah, the tail gunners won the battle for us. But sappers probably did pretty well too. So I believe the tail gunners made a difference here. Yeah, we really do not want them to be in the lee. We have soldiers. Alright, where is our ally? Ah, we have them over here. A bunch of it infantry is troops. To praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging Rogues. a worthy victory. Zoom out on the minimap. Ah, oh, they haven't even moved these troops. They have the pirate musketeers. Mercenaries, I wanted to spend them too. They are probably more costly. They have a higher upkeep than other units because they are mercenaries. Or at least I think so. Had a lot of gunners. None of them entered the battle field area. They killed 25%. We had two armies, so they killed in essence 50% of one army. So half an army out of two armies. 
the fort of Air Force right here. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a world. It wasn't a real challenge. Because they didn't have a full sized army here. We didn't want to give them an even fight because we have a lot of armies to fight. If we need to fight the Karajik insects, and they have a huge number of armies, and then the horde might come to. We want to try and hold Kalimdor, where we have the most areas. We also want to hold Booty Bay, but the Gurbashi trolls there. But Northrend, we are prepared to just give up. And I also will probably have to seed Venture Bay. No, I mean Everlook. If the night elves ever attack, they are way stronger in the early game. Alright. That's the bombard. Many we killed. 2%. Lost 26%. You have some sappers. They're a cool unit. The barrels on their back. Containing dynamites. Dynamites in their hands. Probably did pretty well in battle. Let's check the statistics. difficult campaign. This is the Reign of Chaos campaign, so the Horde doesn't have a lot of areas at the start. So it will take a while before they can conquer a lot bunch of areas, same with Karaji. Karaji will still be strong very fast. The Horde will take a longer time, I believe. They have some rebels. Very numerous, but really, really sucky troops. They also break very easily. In defensive battles, they can still be worthwhile to recruit. Because they fight to the death in a plaza, but hey, in the battlefield they suck because they break so easily. They're also easily killed. So they aren't very good even when they fight to the death. They are still uh, more useful when they fight to the death. Okay. So the horn with the general. Here we can see some death stealers, I believe. Elite infantry. No, it's the goblin infantry. Heavy infantry of the goblins. Heavy goblin infantry of the goblins. Also, in the trade coalition campaign, we want to take certain areas to get certain troops. They are goblin specific, but only available from certain areas. Yeah, with the goblins I want all the range units to, to use to fire from a safe distance. And then we use the AI to control the infantry and just charge. Keep the enemy away from, the, from our troops. Victory will be ours. Uh, more rebels here. I wanted to play a goblin campaign since 2021, I believe. I just never did another episode in 2021, and then in 2022 I was supposed to play when I had finished update but because of the trades issue I crashed on turn 13. So it's first um, I had to fix the crash and then I replayed everything. But it wasn't a lot to replay. 13 turns. Three battles. It was about three hours maybe that I had to replay. How many we killed? 90%. Lost 28%. Okay, our allied army. Captain, uh, let's 
see here. Very, very bad weather. Okay, the Aladom had 683 mana to start, or goblins. Now they have 1556. So they, they've lost some of their men. They are in shootout stance. Can I change that to aggressive stance? They will charge in melee. Okay, so most of them is still alive. They are led by Captain Riz. They are eager, warmed up. Now they have the aggressive stance on. They lost about a hundred pent or something, man. Okay. The reason I didn't want them to have an, a general leading them is because even though when they have a general leading them they do smarter decisions in battle, but they are they are also stupid enough to send the general first into battle and he will die most likely so that's why I don't trust the AI with the general but the, 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 the arm ends up doing better in the battle if they are led by the general but the general himself might die and we, we will lose the campaign if we lose all our generals due to regicide you know in medieval total war kingdoms when, when the leader and air dies you lose the game in most Neil A mods and such not in Hyrule but in most others <laughs> so let's just fast forward forever there's our bodyguard Hoggoblins. Hoggoblins, okay. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are the enemy fleeing. Right, the they've battle. won the battle finally. Bring down those worthless peasants. Let's continue the battle. Rook over here. Unit off. Goblin infantry managed to break the Sanctuary Nomad Bowman. There are units of rogues. Maybe our units are faster, I don't know. There are units of Sanctuary Axtors, they are also fleeing. The reason it took so long was because they hunted them. There are another unit of Goblin infantry hunting them. Right, and a uh, unit of nomad hunters uh. Oops, the roosters are hunting them. He had fast forward on, that's why it lagged. Heavy Goblin Infantry. Shield Wall Formation. Okay. These are the Sappers. They're the Dynamites. Oh, they have different barrels and such. Really cool. They seem to change the barrel when they fire. Now they, we can see the, the visible dynamites here. They believe they had different barrel previously where they weren't visible. Yeah, look at this. Some of them have um, barrels and some of them have, have dynamite containers. Cruise is the militia. And we have the rogues. The death dealers. Real cool unit. Actually decent. 
their scythe. Definitely. So I tried to continue the Amazon campaign in the Warhammer beginning of the end times alternative cut mod prior to doing this video, but I had a game lock in the battle again. In the same battle, where I played as the faction leader Mother Teneca and they wanted to or Feneca and then wanted to uh, defeat this pestilence Skaven again, but it crashed again, so I decided to play this instead. Trolls are crushed. 95% killed or fled. We lost 28% of the goblins. Total. In total. Both are mystic combined. These percentages. Okay. Our ally was hardly in the battle. a little bit laggy when we had all the armies fighting in the beginning. Probably because of the this numbers and such. Alright, we won the battle. Great clear victory. Uh, Mogul Rastunk of the Goblins. The Trade Coalition had 2,945 Goblins. Lost 989. 956 remaining. They so lost about a third of the army. Smaller third. Kill 1552 of the Varak Trolls. Desert Trolls. And took 87 captured, I believe. Captain Driss of the Goblins Trade Coalition. Trade Coalition of Goblins. And trade Barons and such. Uh, okay, they have 683 Goblins. Lost only 108. And have 575 remaining. Kill 33. They were hardly in the battle. The enemy army under Antisol of the Farak Trolls had 1964 uh, Trolls, lost 672, 292 surviving the battle, they killed 1279 of our troops. Okay, here are the statistics. Hub Goblin Bodyguard killed no one, Goblin Death Stealers killed 279, so they were really effective. And we had some other troops killing enemies, like the Bruisers. One of them killed 186. They were actually pretty good. Even an infantry unit killed 177 of the trolls. Tinkers killed 111. Sapper unit killed only 59. And another one killed 8. They did pretty poorly, actually. Tail gunners killed. 16, 14, 61, and 91. Okay. For the allied troops, we only killed very few. Mostly 
thanks to the death stealers okay the death stealers were really good actually despite being infantry right we'll exit back to the campaign map we do not need to end the episode here because start of battle but uh, with her will we need to end at the end of the battle because it can crash randomly after battles okay prisoners capture the frag trolls we just execute them March troops. Can't move those troops anymore. The room for new, new troops will move in there. Death Stealers. The Disarm and March troops. They combine with others. We'll move in the infantry. They were good. Heavy infantry. Can move in. Pirate musketeer unit. This unit can move back to this army. Back a bit. Can move out the general. Command the army. Also move in some good stuff there. Relations verse and the Faraki Abysmal relations, yeah. Enemy army rats, most harass them, okay. Let's check the stats of, of armies. All factions, living factions, top five factions. So as far as I can see, the third strongest arm in the game is the Kingdom of Stormwind. Fifth strongest arm in the game is the Casmodan dwarves, the good dwarves. Of Lordran is the second strongest arm in the game. Scourge of the Undead are the strongest army. So the Undead at the top, and then we have the Kingdom of Lordran, humans. And then we have Kingdom of Stormwind. And then we have, uh, that's one, two, three. Uh, the goblins count as one of the strongest. We are the fourth strongest in the world. And then the dwarves are the fifth strongest. Okay. Can't do anything more here. We have an army in Mud's Procket too, but they need to be defend. And in Ratchet. And in Everlook. In Everlook we could probably march. A rebel area over here will do it. And in Ratchet. There are probably some Quilbor areas. We have military success with our allies. Yeah, we do. And we could march. Here is the rebel area. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Without question, we shall be killed. over here. The it would be good if we were backed up by our ally, Horde. We do not have much use of a village town. And wait one turn there. Hopefully they will surrender. Must move this army. There is a rebel area here held by go ogres. You might want. As 
for an ultra and we can't do much. We have new goblin infantry in Gadgetzan, Madsbrook uh, goblin rebels retrained, him in Ratchet, and goblin infantry retrained in Amnok. War declared, the kingdom of Quelt last, high elves have declared war on their many trolls, the forest, tr forest trolls over here. Oh, the horde is outside. If we attack now, they will reinforce us. They have only a weak force, led by Garrosh Hellscream. The bodyguard of Corcoran bodyguards, heavy infantry. Okay, we'll wait another turn. here including scorpions they're really strong are laying siege to the Faraki capital where they have their leader chief of course two units attack with this armor too Good. We'll attack with the unit. Attack with this army. Right. A diplomat too. We'll move. Who'd attack to use the bombard? don't want their ally to spend their best troops. We'll attack the fort first. Captain Molhor is here with 526 trolls. We are attacking with big goblin in the trade collision. The leader, 1674 goblins. They have a unit of sand fury blood drinkers. They are berserkers and then they have the sand fury zealots. Another elite infantry unit. They have the real danger scorpions, uh, like a beast unit, and then century warriors, normal medium infantry, and then they have a mate unit, the frag heromancers. They're also really dangerous. They do not have any mate unit. They do have uh, gunners that we need to use against their mage could be a problem if they are on the walls. We might not be able to attack the walls. We have bombards too. Alright, this could be dangerous. Trade coalition, let's save the game before the battle. 
We have a two one advantage, but they have the mage. Alright, let's fight the battle on the battle map. They have a fort here. So they have a palace here, most likely, and some tents. Let's pause the game here until we are inside the battle. Right, we are in the battle, let's start deployment. And disable that immediately. This is a Faraki fort, they have a palisade and they have some buildings. Ah, it's like Aztec version of a fort. So they have some huts. Plast inside. Right, the troops. If it's a siege battle, we will order them. Um, into different groups. Formation and fire ammo on. One of them could be, uh, use a normal fire ammunition. And then uh, the range unit will be in loose formation. Alright, and we're ready. But I think the bombards could be one line. range of the mages are we want these guys to be destroying their gate you can also disable the flashing and the walls Still control the generals. I didn't disable the tool. It's fine. But I think we can enable walking. There is the fort. The bombers have started to fire upon their fort. Mage. Here they have the dangerous scorpions. Really dangerous. And elite infantry. The only really dangerous unit is the uh, Hydromancer mages here, the old troll women. With their water elementals. So the Faraki are the only troll faction with female. Units they have old women and young women, another unit with young women, both are mages. I want to add that to the Gurbash too. There is probably <coughs> like uh, textures for the female trolls we can use them for the Gurbash as well. They are also smaller trolls like this. They don't fit well with the Amani or the Drakari. The Drakari are just giant trolls and the Amani trolls do have some smaller trolls too, but <coughs> I believe the real money trolls are the giant ones and uh, females would probably be giant too, I don't know. Anyway, makes sense to give female trolls to the Gurbashi but not to the, to the Amani female trolls that have the Gurbashi skin, I mean. Maybe even the Amani. Haven't even managed to destroy it. Okay, we will not destroy the gate, we will destroy the wall. Okay. We will lose the battle if we can't breach the gate or the wall. They have no good accuracy. They are very powerful, but it's really bad accuracy. 
see actually. We have the tail gunners. The goblins. The goblins only have goblins available from most of their areas. And can get other unique troops from certain areas. But the reason they can't get them from the goblin areas is because there are no trolls or humans in those areas. Maybe that will change in a later update. Because the, the humans and the trolls might actually go to the goblin areas and allow themselves to be hired as mercenaries. We intended as mercenary troops and made them only available <laughs> from the areas where there are trolls and humans, unfortunately. Same with the ogres. You need to take ogre areas to get the ogres, you need to take human areas to get the humans. And you need to get take uh, troll areas to get the trolls. There are also mercenaries, of course, for every faction in the game, but in, in those areas. But the goblins can recruit them as ordinary units from their barracks. Okay. <coughs> Bombers are really powerful. They miss a lot. They are more effective against troops because of how they miss their targets. And attacking gates and walls. Excellent! Finally! Reached our enemy's walls. Good job. And I think the bombard order to fire at will. We let it empty its frills first before entering the port. have unlimited ammunition so we let them empty their their ammunition force and in on the troops we kill one percent of the enemy some of their shells have actually Cannonballs have actually hit the enemy. Oh, we took down one of the scorpions. Awesome. I changed my mind. Don't fire at will. Fire at these scorpions. So they can fire over the wall. The scorpions are really dangerous for melee troops. Radia are really, really numerous too. The real problem will be the horde. They usually win in Kalimdor. You know, to resolve battles at least. Yes. Started to 
fire. They have a really long projectile. So I think um, we want to send our gunners against them. And I need to also get running on again. Start to leave this area with the general. I don't want the mages to kill him. Could be easily killed. Have that dangerous blue beam. Forward tail gunners! And attack those hydromancers. They're attacking our cannons. Or bombards, I mean. Bombards. Alright. I was almost saying cannons, but I meant bombards. Good. They can fire from there. Oof. Two Sidromancers have a really, really long projectile range. Almost as long as the. Probably as long as the tail gunners. It's more important to kill the, the, the Hydromancers than to kill the Scorpions. They are more dangerous. Forward tail gunners! Make short work of those hydromancers. They have two dangerous units. How does it look? They are still here. Rocky would be fun to play too. Play them a little bit without recording and they were underpowered. After that I did improve them so in this version they are actually better. A better cavalry, better units of roll. And the Kraji got nerfed, so they are weaker than, than they were. I believe that when I played this them, they could fight the goblins just fine. But they were underpowered against the Kraji. I needed to make the Kraji weaker. And the Kraji is slightly better. Especially their cavalry needed to be better. So they were no match against the Karachi cavalry. Mm -hmm. It would be dangerous to stand in front of the bombards. It's happening. They're firing. I don't want you to fire at will. I want you to specifically target the Hydromancer mages. Alright. So they are real dangerous. Firing back. And not just standing there like sitting ducks. Look at that. Killed 5% and lost 2%. Mm -hmm. How does it look now? I have lost a few. 
but not enough. Send in our militia. Send them in to attack the mages there. Move the general back before he's attacked. The mage. There are the infantry there. Where are they? I also had an old Night Elf campaign from 2019. I might restart it. Really cool unit roster. There are the rebels. We want them to charge the enemy. Good job. Tail gunners continue to fire. And the rebel will charge and force the mages into melee. They are expendable. They are of no use against other infantry in the game. They probably the worst infantry in the game. So we want to get rid of, rid of them as soon as possible. Their only use is to hold settlements. Everyone else can move out. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us right. now. Building captured. Reached a melee battle with the mage unit. We can get them in tight formation now. Female trolls, the fair gear here. Their water elementals, their summons. I think the rebel will win thanks to their numbers. Mages are not good in melee. Check their stats by the way. 8 melee attack, missile 11, one shot, 8 melee attack, still medium damage. 11 missile, it's really good for a mage unit, but it's, it's kind of weak for a mage unit, but it's really good because it's a mage. Okay, uh, effect against armor, long range missiles, excellent morale. Yeah, they had really long range. That's 26 total defense. Alright. Let's unpause the game. What else do they have? They have the warriors over here. This one will also be loose with the tight formation and charge the trolls of the air, the troll warriors. These will continue to kill off the mage. Then we have the rest of their troops over here. The bombards did kill more than one of the dangerous scorpions, that's really good. Scorpions, 20 attack, 5 shot bonus, 22 defense. 8 hit points, really good. And the special abilities too. They will manage to break the rabble sooner or later. They will take out their mage unit at least. They have 105. Other unit is 149. The battle is in our favor. 
If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Yeah, we, don't, we, don't, we don't even have shield. Yeah, they will kill us. The reason they stretch like that when they die is because they have the, the animation for the, that that death animation is for a normal human skeleton. So if, if they die like that, yeah, they always stretch. Only six remaining of the mages. See only two elementals, three of the female casters. previous versions of the mod. I did a mistake when I tried to move over the new traits from Trag sub mod. Shouldn't have done that. Then we would have had working vanilla traits and all the new changes. That sucks. I don't like redoing stuff that I have already done. Alright. speed on, we had slow motion on, I didn't realize. That's why it took so long. Killed one of the females. I believe the marshmallow allows slow motion too. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. Third person mode. Our men are winning the battle. And forging a Kill one of the victory. elementals and another one. Only two of the mages remaining. Three actually. We have an elemental over here too. Green one. And one of the females left now. Troll women. She will die soon. And the final elemental. Bad, a million hits with their axe, and they can't kill her. Yeah, really, really bad troops. We want to get rid of as soon as possible. Elemental is dead. Oh, here comes one of their elite infantry units, the San Fury Sealets. They are 149. We have 133 of the rabble. We will lose. We might still be able to kill the mage. We'll see. about the other battle we have 11 left for some reason they do not break ah they might have unlimited morale or something that will certainly change later they are supposed to rot they are really bad anyway even if they fight with death Kill gunners can start firing at will. The 
these guys can reposition themselves. Our infantry will be slaughtered. It's time to send in the Bruceers. They are almost as bad. Check the stats. These guys have 5 attack, 2 short bonus, 5 defense. 1 hit points. Abilities at a glance. Combat bonus in Wolves or Snow. Won't help here, we are in a desert. Excellent morale. Make sure fitted orders. Good stamina. And then we have the Bruiser. Combat bonus in Wolves or Snow. Won't help here. Excellent morale. Yeah, the rabble shouldn't have excellent morale. That will be changed if it hasn't been already. Make sure fitted orders. Good stamina. I mean, rabble, they should write these. Now. Okay, and then we have. Uh, this guy's 11 attack instead of 5. 6 defense instead of 5. Okay, they do not have very good defense, but they have way better attack. One shot bonus, okay. They have same abilities as the rabble. That shouldn't be the case. Okay, and then the infantry, they are way better. They have weaker attack, they have better defense, same hit points. Have better abilities. Okay. Yeah, we are losing here. Losing the rabble. That's good. I don't want the worst infantry game. Okay. Believe they are the worst. The worst of any playable faction. Maybe the Murlocs are worse, I don't know. The Murlocs might be worse. They are about as numerous, I don't know. Kill that warrior, the trolls, troll warrior. Kill another one, they are not very good either, they are pretty bad. They should be, still be better than our troops, they have shields and such, better stats. These rabble have way too good stats in terms of ability. Should have broken. Bruisers. We'll waste them too. At least they are better. Maybe they are more decent as <coughs> garrisons and cities. At least they can do some resistance to enemy infantry. Those guys are elite. The Thraki. Fanatics. Two handed weapons there. Seven remaining. Building captured. Okay. <coughs> One man we killed. Twenty four percent we lost thirteen percent. Wise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning okay. the battle and forging Good. a worthy we'll victory. Here. Don't open. Okay. Oh. 
yeah, no wrong. So yeah, the Briseers, they are better than the Rabble. Guys, fucking uh, host the game, Jesus Christ, I didn't expect them to come. That's the berserkers, they went berserk. Okay, so we almost died. Sent our bodyguard for half goblins there to fight them. Now we are hopefully a little bit more safe. I was ordered the tail gunners to start firing on the, on the blood drinkers. Since they are berserkers. They are heroic, really dangerous. We will actually send in the infantry too. They don't trust that we might that we will win against those guys. They are really powerful due to the berserk attribute. We need to send in the rest of the infantry. If they were to <coughs> kill our hobgoblins and briseers, seem to have killed all the briseers almost. 19 remaining and so. Yeah, it looks bad. Yeah, they killed all the Briseers. Hope Goblins are the only ones in melee now. We need those heavy infantry units to join as soon as possible. Good job, continue to fire on the Theraki blood drinkers. Until our infantry arrives. Here they are. They're in field formation. Killed 53%, lost 41%. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a more of our infantry. Very good. Charge. Protect the gunners. Eleven of the hobgoblins left. They killed almost all of them. So those berserkers are really dangerous. Oh, 
Hopefully we can win thanks to our numbers here with heavy infantry. We kill the rebels, they kill the brassiers. We had five units of brassiers and two units of rebel. I expected them to kill the rebel. The brassiers, that's surprising. Five units. Goblin medium infantry. The infantry, I don't think they will win against them. They will kill almost all the hub goblins too, an elite infantry unit of goblins. Now I think we have won. Finally. They still have the scorpions. Look at the carnage. They lost a lot of troops. They lost 44% they lost 57. They have elite and fear seal at say 94 of them. And they have the warriors. 119. And they have the dangerous scorpions. Could still probably win. We want our infantry to attack their sealots, actually, not fanatics, but sealots. Then we want our... We can start with that. We can send in the tinkers, too. Into the city infantry. I believe they will defeat the infantry too. They need to send in the elite. So, the elite infantry. We only have very few bodyguard units le left alive. At least the infantry has free wall. Can push the enemy before them. It is Very unwise good. to praise the day before sunset. We'll be able to but win against these trolls. The battle, Scorpions are still a, a are still a threat. Yeah. And have one missile unit still. I kind of want my bodyguard to attack their mage. We'll do that. Kill their mage before she attacks the infantry. And she's dead. The flag disappeared. Perfect. Enemy general is dead. We have sent the general the died. Nice. Captain Malter used the captain, then it doesn't matter. For morale. This is just a fort, but we fought a really epic battle for it. Oh, the scorpions have joined the battle. They're really strong, but too few to win. We also took out some of them. They're Bombards earlier. I think the Tinkers are there. They are there. Same type of unit as the General. We can move them back. The infantry fight. The infantry might have shield wall, but they are not that good anyway. We still want to spend them first before we use the elite troops. They're still pretty cool. 
and an even better garrison unit than the Perseers. Okay. Clearly won this battle. Killed 94% and lost 56%. Enter the fort, general. Uh, yep, bodyguard. Excellent! Our men have taken control of the fort. We'll take the plaza. Take night in minutes. All right, they sent in some we have lost troops. Control of the fort. Remnant troops. Kill them. Oh shit, the scorpions arrived. Didn't want that. Post the game, Jesus Christ. Thought they were taken care of by the others, but no. Everyone will attack them. Fuck, we lost the general! I fucked up. Big Goblin for trade collision, it was the leader. Fuck. I underestimated them when I sent in the general, thinking that the infantry would handle the scorpions. Then they returned here because the infantry was stupid enough to not kill them off. Let them leave. Okay. Scorpions will kill kill our thinkers too. Don't let very few of them alive. They are really strong, those scorpions. Lost the fucking leader. Not good. Yeah, they killed all the thinkers. are firing at them from outside out here. Both the bombers and the tail gunners. They are too few to win, I believe. Really dangerous monster. Only one remaining now. He will it, it will die soon. I'm not happy about the general dying like that. We had too few of the bodyguard left. Even the tinkers wouldn't have been able to save the general. So we saw they just slaughtered all of them. Lost an entire unit of tinkers. They might be too few in numbers, to be honest. Okay. Can end the battle. Lose victory. But only by a sword's edge. Men deployed 2674. Lost 1564. 1110 remaining. We lost more than we have le left. 
Enemy skill 520. They killed 820. It's a good battle. The problem is that the general died. Alright. Let's pause the recording here. Alright, you're back. We won the battle. We really lost the general. Fuck that. And my army routes, I had kept him alive in the entire battle, and then because of that fucking scorpion unit, uh, we lost. That was the leader. No, it wasn't. Jaster is the leader. Okay, we don't want two generals. Okay, but that, then we can attack here too. But they have another scorpion unit here. We can prevent the general from dying. You can't attack with that, so I'm okay. Can we move these guys? Yes. Not much. And I think it's better to leave, leave the units here. Maybe not. Only the bombards can't move, I see. against Chief, of course, the leader of the Farke Trolls. He has a unit of enchanted tick warriors. He can fight to the death. He has the dangerous armed scorpions. They also fight to the death. Really dangerous unit. So we saw. He has a bodyguard of Farke Champions bodyguard. 13 attack. 3 charge bonus. 16 defense. 2 hit points. And good stats. Effective against the armor. They can Penetrate armor too. He has a lot of essentially normal spearmen, medium spearmen, they are pretty bad. At least six of them. Yes, four units of century axe they are pretty good, they can pierce armor. And then we have Farrakhan Shadow Blades, at least three units, they are elite, they are rogues. They are version of the death dealers, really good. Can hide anywhere. 14 defense, 17 attack, 7 charge bonus, only one hit point, but a lot of good uh, attributes. For a champion unit, yeah. the four units of the sh uh, sorry, uh, shadow blades. Okay, we, we will. I think we will fight this battle as a part of this episode. It will be a longer episode. We have three battles in it. We fought the battle against the Frack army, then we on the battlefield, and then we attacked the fort and took it, and then we fight, we'll fight the battle of their capital, Sulfarak. The instance in World of Warcraft was also named Sulfarak. So it's their capital, we'll fight the battle, they have a huge stack there. Probably gain some troops when we attack due to the garrison script, I believe. We'll fight this battle. Balance of power, 9-7 in our favor. Okay, we'll fight this battle. We'll save the game. But of course, I need to take a pause here and go and eat. So I'll see you soon. I'll pause the game here. Bye. Hello again, guys. Sorry, I changed my mind. I'm still gonna eat now, but... I changed my mind. I, I am gonna end the episode here the battle of Sulfarak and we'll place the battle of Sulfarak in the next episode because I don't want too long episodes. Uh, I also do not have unlimited space on my computer and I want some other videos too and not just Warcraft of the War with this campaign. Okay, so I will see you in another video. 
I will play as the Blood Elves and then I gain a hot suit campaign and then I will also probably restart the Night Elves campaign that I started in 1929. So we will see you in, in those uh, campaigns and then I have other campaigns play, uh, playing, you know, Harold to the War campaigns and the Bellamundi and some others. So I will see you later. We will see you in, in this campaign in the next episode because I don't want it to be too long. Okay, bye.